Hi, my name's Kevin Blanche. I'm shooting this little film. I'm going to submit this to the doc, uh, film documentary contest for the film festival. Which, I'm right here in Ogden, Utah. Right over there at the Egyptian. We go every year, watch the movies right over here. I'm going to tell you what fucking Utah is really like. All you people that watch go to Sundance and watch the film festival are like, oh, those beautiful fucking ski resorts. Oh, what a great time. And then Mormons, they don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't do dope. Oh, it must be just a beautiful place. Yeah, fucking right. I'll tell you how it really is here. Yeah, I wore my fucking Snowbird shirt that I bought at the thrift store. This is Ogden. This is Ogden, Utah, the heart of the film festival. Park City's right there. The camera is pointed right on Snow Basin, the Olympic downhill. Those towers right there on the other side. Longest, steepest downhill in the world. I've skied it many times. I'm a skier. But anyway, this used to be this real progressive, dynamic town. This is the Junction City. Wealthy, wealthy, big time wealthy when I grew up. That's what's left of the rail yards here. The great rail yard of America. The number one rail yard of America. Bar none. The Junction City. The Golden Spike was drove right out there. But let me tell you get people what it's really like here. I remember meeting Redford. Right over there. At the fucking Sizzler years ago. The girl I was dating says, Robert Redford's in here, called me on the phone. I come down there, shook his hand. Right over here. But this is Ogden. Right here is where they exploit labor. See those guys? That's the mission. There's usually hundreds of them out here in the morning. These guys, these hair sprayed up, Mormon, hamburger eaten, fat fucking piece of shit, hair sprayed on exploiters. They come pick these guys up, use them up, they destroy the construction. I'm a plaster contractor, a stucco contractor, the biggest in the valley, bar none. For years and years, started really young, grew up in this industry. Let me tell you, people. Somebody shows up on your job to do your stucco, your plaster, your concrete, and he's got, looks like he's six months pregnant and got hairspray, beating hammers hard on the cell phone, you know you're fucked. They're exploiting this fucking labor. This labor, you don't think they know they're being exploited? They know and they think, they look at your big piece of shit fucking piece of shit house with fake stucco, fake rock, fake tits, fake Botox, fake everything. They equate you as part of the exploiters. Which you are. You know? Real guys, I'm 50 fucking years old with a broken fucking back, a severed tongue, fucking fractured skull, broken fucking ribs, broken back, couldn't walk for two years because some guy exploited illegal fucking labor, put on some fucking rate gutters and saved himself $2 for without putting spikes and put roofing nails. I fell, the insurance company fucked me. All I did was I couldn't walk for a year and a half. My wife left me from fucking my own cousin. My fucking great big fucking beautiful fucking house taken. Paid in cash by the fucking IRS. Wiped out. But now let me tell you what fucking Ogden is. Ogden is drug infested to the 10th power. It's poor. Utah is poor. Extremely poor. The average working class person here is way, probably under the fucking poverty level. Okay? The Mormon culture doesn't respond. It's the pill popping capital of the world. They sit around and eat every pill known to man. It is the suicide capital of North America, right here. Weber County is the suicide capital of fucking North America. Maybe of the world. Young males are killing themselves every day. You pick up the paper every fucking day. Nobody wants to talk about it. Suicide rate is off the hook here. They grow up in these Mormon fucking neocon families. Okay, they rebel. They have six kids, eight kids. Ten. Half of them rebel, half of them don't. It's the sissy to prove it. You have a Mormon family in Utah is like this. Half will extremely rebel and half will just freaking get married, go on a mission, have kids, and the cycle just continues. It's sick. Well, the ones that rebel, they fucking rebel. Our culture has two extremes here in Utah. Yo, the females. The females are extremely fucking tweaked out, crazy, stripper, naked, freaking maniacs. Or they're Molly Permanent Smile Mormons, Papa Prozac, with five kids that are so whacked by the time they're 50, they don't know fucking shit. Okay? Well, their kids rebel. They don't know where to turn. They get on Oxycontin. Heroin's a major epidemic here. Major epidemic. They fucking either OD or kill themselves. And here's what the fucking Mormons say about it. Oh, they're in a better place. They get thrown in jail. They disown them. They're sick. And look, this isn't a slam on the Mormon hierarchy. I don't believe it is the Mormon hierarchy. 
I listen to what the freaking hierarchy of this church says. You know, I grew up in it. I left it a long fucking time. When I go to New York, they call me lost boy because I drink fucking beer like a fucking maniac, like most people did in Ogden. But it's the fucking members of the church. It's the culture. It's the culture here. It's fucked up. Big time fucked up. Like I said, this town is poor. Utah is fucking the art illiterate capital of the world. Yeah, the film festivals here. You could fucking take Picasso. You could take Picasso's fucking, fucking one of his iconic pieces. Are you could take Van Gogh's Starry Fucking Nights. You could take Monet's Haystacks and line them up, and you could go ask fucking 99 people here who the artists were. 99 wouldn't fucking know. It's the art illiterate capital of the world. It's poor. It's drug infested. It's fucking suicide. It's exploitation. Kevin Blanche, July 2010. Right here is Sundance. See that down there? All the way down there? That's Sundance. I got one last thing to say. I say this all the time. Redford, put that in your fucking film festival.